Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to read a small Kotlin program to find out the number of positive numbers and the sum of negative numbers in the given array. I'm going to take this array and pass to this method count positives. Inside this method, if the numbers is empty, we immediately return empty array. Otherwise, we are going to find out the count and the sum. So numbers dot run method run is a scope function i'll explain it later so inside this run method we will get this numbers object and we can access inside the run method so we're going to return array which contains the count of the positive numbers and the sum of negative numbers so we're going to take the numbers and filter only the positive numbers and count it and this is a method reference you can see here there is a method here check positive which will return whether it's a positive number or not. So here we are going to only filter the positive number and count them. In the next section, we are going to filter only the negative numbers and sum. So after we calculate this, we are going to return the count of the positive numbers and sum of the negative numbers as an array. When I run this program, I'm able to see seven positive numbers and the sum of negative numbers is minus 65. So this is the result for this program. Now let me explain this run scope function. What is scope function run method and what is the benefit? Let's see. Here we are going to see what is the scope function in Kotlin. What is the scope function in Kotlin? The scope function is a function which helps me to run a block of code within the object context. There are different types of scope function, for example, let, with, and run. And here we are seeing run. The blue circle is the object. When I say object.run, within this bracket, the object will be available. So in this context, we are going to apply the business logic and return the result. So it takes the lambda and execute the business logic and return the result. That's the purpose of run scope function. So what's the benefit of using run function? So what will happen if I don't use a scope function run? For example, if I have to do the same thing in Java, I have to introduce multiple local variables. So scope function helps me to avoid introducing multiple local variables. So when I was learning scope function, I was thinking, why do we need all this scope function, let, with, and run? What is the benefit? They later realized that the scope functions help me to reduce creating more variables. So with less variables, we can achieve the same functionality. And it also helps my code to be more concise and readable. So that's the main benefit of scope function. In upcoming tutorials, I'll explain more about scope function. So we saw what is run scope function. So numbers will be available inside this block. And without introducing any local variable, we are able to apply the business logic and return the results. So this is one of the benefit of run scope function. Hope this information is useful. Thank you.